you know one of my goals has always been on this boat to get it a little safer and easier to travel on and to sail on one of the problems I've had though is this old compass so I went to Ritchie Navigation Ritchie is a leader in marine compasses what we're going to do today we're going to install this compass however you can't just pull the old compass out stick this new one in it just doesn't work that way now these compasses are designed to be installed where this angle here is 90 degrees so to pull this out and just pop this in my bulkhead is at a little bit of an angle I need to make a fairing block well what's a fairing block well I've come up with three different methods on how to make it but we're going to just use one right here and that is this block here where when this sits on here it's going to make this level I'm pretty close to this I've already done a little work on it now we're not just going to pull this out first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put a little tape here and a little tape here for the center line it's very important keep this in mind to have this compass lined up parallel with the center of the boat in other words if the compass is sitting kitty wampus like this it's reading from this angle we want it reading dead ahead so we want to make sure that this is balanced first and when I put this fairing block together I made a line I came down the center line so I want this when I put this on I don't want to have it like this or like this because then that's going to cause the compass to be misaligned now it's not that difficult to do uh, the hardest part has been getting this angle cut now at the boat yard I'm at they happen to be working on a um, wooden boat and they have some scrap material that I was able to use I glued it together and the um, shipwright cut this for me on a bandsaw that's why I came up with a couple other ideas on how to make the fairing plate in case you don't have that type of thing here and we'll go over the other fairing plates in a little bit then I'm gonna work on cutting this hole out which should be a lot of fun I'm not gonna bore you with all of that all right let's get to work well here are some of the base tools that we're gonna need for the job now another thing to keep in mind as we attach this fairing plate and attach a compass don't use metal screws or magnetic type of things because that's going to cause an issue with the compass you want to use non-metal screws or non-magnetic type of screws so that it doesn't affect the performance of the compass now what I want to do here is just kind of show you if you don't have this compass set just right uh, what happens you can kind of see where what it's reading right now if I turn it a little bit like this you see you get you get false readings here if, if it's sitting out if it's not parallel to the center line probably if you look at 300 you get the better idea here now if I put it in and I tip it the other way a little bit you see I'm off a few degrees that can make a big difference when you're headed on a long course and the same with not having it set at 90 degrees you see how, how we're, we're off here a little bit so we're going to take some pains and make sure that this is set up correctly now I used a level and a piece of cardboard to determine the base angle for the fairing plate now this may be off a little but we can do some adjustments after the block is cut you may not have access to that big a piece of wood so another idea is I took a couple pieces of insulated foam and a piece of plywood I put them together you can you just um, epoxy these together let them sit and you can use this the reason you have the wood on the front so you have something for the screws to hold into so now a third method might be use plywood pieces of plywood several pieces just start cutting them together put those together and then you could do the whole thing and you could cut it next I check the fairing plate for plumb this is our foundation for the compass it's got to be right 
Next I wired the two compass lights to the DC panel. Red to red, black to black. After taping them together I used a little bit of uh, shrink tubing to keep it all together and to make it watertight. And as for the gap, I just put some caulk around it. Now this is going to be great to have a compass I can read from just about anywhere in the cockpit.